The opening tip is won by Grove City. The Wolverines get possession first, and we are underway from the Robert S. Carey Center. Jordan McConnell swings it to the left side, man-to-man -man look defensively for St. Vincent. Coming out in the opening defensive stint. Kick to the corner. Mackenzie Black's three is short over the hoop, and it'll be possession for St. Vincent. Morgan in the corner. Uses her dribble, trying to shake the defense of Mackenzie Black. Now it goes to Kayla Slavenic at the top of the key. She has to reset, loses the handle. Good screen there from Giancola. Lafko with five on the shot clock, picks up her dribble. Montrose with the shot fake, kick out, corner three. Good if it goes, and it's nothing but net from Kayla Slavenic with the three-pointer. Eight seconds to go, the shot clock is off. Wolverines with one final possession, four to shoot. Kick out, got to get a shot off from McConnell. Good if it goes, and it's off the mark. So a uh, wild first quarter finally comes to an end. 16 to 15, Grove City leads it here on the PAC Sports Network. It's a one-point lead for the Grove City Wolverines. After 10 minutes of play, Rob Longo, Rob McKinney with you here from the Robert S. Carey Center on the campus of St. Vincent College. Coming up after this one at 7.30, we'll have the men's game between the Wolverines and the Bearcats. One-point lead here for the women though, over St. Vincent. A little bit of a surprise considering the last time these two teams met back on December 1st, St. Vincent carried a 63-44 win out of Grove City. Three players in double figures for the Bearcats. Jess Kimbrell, Kimbrell had a team-high 10 points for the Wolverines. Kimbrell held scoreless in that first quarter. Morgan with a long two to start off the second frame, and it's off the mark. In transition, it's Grove City. Jordan McConnell to the block. Good move from Sedona Campbell up the window and in. Sedona Campbell with her first basket of the game. Extends that Grove City lead to three. Sedona Campbell, she's pretty sizable at six foot. Perks in the PAC and offensive rebounds. Averaged about three and a half a game. And an athletic play from her there to pluck that one away. All right. Grove City really commanding the tempo right now. Trying to knock off the top team in the President's Athletic Conference. Campbell on the block. Trying to go to work. Gets the bucket and in. And that's going to force a timeout by St. Vincent. Just 53 seconds. It'll be a 30-second timeout for the Bearcats. Slavenic in the corner. Dribbles back up. A lot of poise from the junior. One-on-one. -on -one, crossover. Has a step. Tries the floater. And gets the roll. Kayla Slavenic with nine early ones as well. Trying to take over the game a little bit. St. Vincent still trailing by six. A little bit more energy coming from St. Vincent now on the bench at least, and Slovenic has a steal. Goes around the world and has it swatted. Another block. This time it's Balcom. She's going to try to outrace everybody going coast to coast, taking on Montrose, and Montrose gets her coming back the other way. But a foul is called. Back and forth. Ben Volkenberg in transition. Good no-look pass to Maria Morgan. Three ball on the way. It's good. All of a sudden it's back down to a five-point deficit for the Bearcats. Contact, nothing called, it's a steal. Boring in transition. Stops and pops from 15 feet, it's nothing but net. St. Vincent has a 43-42 lead. Taylor Boring puts the Bearcats back on top with their second basket of the game. And a turnover, Boring doing it all so far. Here comes Lafko one-on-one. -on -one. Down the left side, contact, foul, no basket. She'll go to the line for two. Still plenty of opportunities for both sides. St. Vincent leads it by three. There's 16 on the shot clock. In a minute and a half to go in regulation. Bearcats up by three. Morgan dribbles away out of pressure. Eight to shoot. Flipping it to Kolar. Kolar has a position on Buchanan and gets the bouncing in. Madison Kolar with 12 points now. First bucket in the fourth quarter. It's a biggie. Puts up St. Vincent. Two possessions on the Wolverines. Elsie with a long three. It's money. Two-point game. Elsie's first bucket of the game is a big one as well. Minute to go, two-point lead for St. Vincent. Two fouls to give if you're Grove City in the quarter. Off the cut, Slovenic gets around the defender and in. 13 points for her in the final timeout taken by the Wolverines. So in a game that Grove City led by as many as 10 in the second quarter, St. Vincent able to grind one out here at home to avoid what would have been a two-game losing streak. No foul by the Wolverines. It ends up being a seven-point win for St. Vincent, 54-47.
a big win at home. We'll be right back to recap it all on the PAC Sports Network. Kolar tied with a game-high 13 points with Kayla Slovenic, her fellow teammate. On the other side, it was a team-high 12 points for Jess Bowen and the Grove City Wolverines. Next up for St. Vincent, a showdown with Teal at, at Teal Saturday at 1 o'clock. Grove City will be at Bethany Saturday at 1 o'clock for another matinee showdown as well. From my broadcast partner, Rob McKinney, our producer, Amanda Sloan, and our camera operator today, Logan Wade. I'm Rob Longo saying so long from St. Vincent. Stay tuned to our back end of the doubleheader between the men's teams of Grove City and St. Vincent. But for the women, it was a 54-47 win for the Bearcats, improving the 9-1 in the President's Athletic Conference.